This video is all about comping vocals, but to do that, you first have to understand the tools that we have available here in Mixbus 32C. So here are the different vocal takes we're gonna be working with in this video, and you can see that they're all stacked on top of each other. This is called Stacked View, and it allows you to see all the different layers you have on a playlist on a certain track. I can right click on the track header and go to Overlaid. And this will only show us the top layer. Since each one of these regions are opaque, only the top layer is gonna be heard and the bottom layers are gonna be essentially muted. So first let's understand how layers work. If you look up toward the top, we can see we have our edit mode. We have slide, ripple, and lock. If you're in slide mode, you can grab any region and move it side to side. You can also see the different layers kind of split apart and that allows us to move layers up and down or pretty much anywhere we want on the timeline. But this could be a little dangerous as in if you slide things side to side, it will now be out of time with the bottom layers below it. In order to keep these layers in place, we want to be in lock mode. This will allow us to move things up and down, but we can't move things side to side. So I can grab this region here, and it can't go side to side, but I can move it up and down, and so forth with the other layers. Another thing we need to recognize is I can use my cut tool, and I can cut each individual layer pretty much wherever I want. And this is fine if you need to go in and cut just certain regions and move them around. But when we're comping a vocal, the same line has been sung multiple times. So you're really just comparing one take versus another take and seeing which one sounds the best. So now that we understand our edit mode, now let's look at our edit point. So by moving the mouse around, I can use my S key, which is gonna split the region wherever my mouse is. So I can point it here. I can go down to this region and point it there. And it's only gonna split wherever the mouse is. Okay, this is fine as well, but we actually wanna split across all the regions at once. So in order to do that, we're gonna use our range tool, like so. And now when I hit the S key, the split, it'll split at the front and at the end of my range. If you wanna trim the front or end of multiple regions, you can use the range tool, make the range where you want, and then hit delete. That'll trim the front and do the same thing to the end. So you can clean up before and after the regions you're gonna edit. Now to begin comping these vocals, we're gonna separate all the different lines. So using my range tool, I can cut across and press delete. And we can also trim the front and then we can go here. And the next line is right here. And the last little line is right here. Let's check out this first line. So I'm going to click on a region and hit Z and this will zoom in. And now in order to listen to each individual take, we can use an action called audition. So with my auto return on, and my playhead before the region I want to listen to, I can simply click on the region and press A. This will solo my track or any other regions that we choose across other tracks. So it's a great way to only listen to things that you want to hear while muting the rest of the tracks. So here we go, I'm gonna press A. Baby, you cold as eyes. So what we're listening for here is just a good consistent vocal and on this first take, I can hear that she was a little too close to the microphone. You can hear those P pops and those plosives. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. Baby, you cold as ice. And notice this area right here is where she says ice. So we want to make sure that we choose a good take that that comes through really clear. Let's check out the next one. Baby, you cold as ice. And then here's the last one. Baby, you cold as ice. Baby, you cold as ice. I think the second one is the most consistent. So what we can do now is we can use shift bar and move that to the top. 
And then let's take a listen with the whole band. Okay, very good. Now we can move on to the second line. And let's check this one out. So click the region, put my playhead before, and then press A. Cold as ice, you cold, but I don't mind. Okay, I kind of like the end of this mind here, so, but not so much of the rest of it. So we can split this, and then let me just audition this little section here. Cold as ice, you cold, but I. I like that. Cold as ice, you're cold, but I... Okay, the but I has a little plosive in there. Let's check out this last one. Cold as ice, you're cold, but I... Ooh, I do like that one. So we'll move that to the top, and then we'll combine this take with this little region right here, and we'll listen to the whole thing. I like that. Okay, let's listen to what we have here. So select the region, put your playhead before, and press A. I don't mind, baby, you're cold as ice. Okay, so I think this top layer is pretty consistent with the plosives. So we'll go down to this next one. I don't mind, baby, you're cold as ice. Okay. There's an interesting little area at the end. Let's check out the third one. I don't mind, baby, you cold as ice. I like this area right here. So let's split this off. Let's move that to the top and let's check out the rest of this. Let's do the bottom region for my playhead right here. Baby, you cold as ice. Okay, let's check out the other ones. Baby, you cold as ice. I do you like the end of this? <laughs> so I'm kind of just chopping this up here. So select it, move it to the top. And now we're just going to concentrate on the middle section, see which one we like the best. Let's move our playhead to the beginning and press A. Baby, you cold as Okay, that has too many plosives. Baby, you cold. I like that. Let's check out the other ones. Baby, you cold as. Okay, and the last one. Baby, you cold as. It might be a tie between the second and the fourth. Let's try the second one out. So move that to the top and listen to the whole thing. I don't mind. Baby, you cold as ice. Ooh, I like the tinge in her voice there. Let's listen to that last one again. the whole thing. I don't mind, baby, cold as ice. Yeah, I kind of like that. And we can also take this little region here. Let's move this up a bit. Cold as ice. Cold. So that way we hear the ice nice and clear. And let's check out the last one. So top layer. Select it, put my playhead before, and press A. Cold as ice, I got a fire inside. Ooh, that's pretty consistent all the way through. Let's check out the other ones just for fun. Cold as ice, I got a fire inside. Third one. Cold as ice, I got a fire inside. Okay, I like the staccato-ness of this one. But this little area here had a plosive. So maybe we can just replace that one little piece. So let's move this to the top and let's check out this area here. Fire okay. Fire 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 uh, let's just for fun, let's check out that one. Listen to the whole thing. Okay, so now what we can do is if we've decided these are the takes that we like, we can go ahead and pull out the regions 
because maybe there's a breath in there that we want to bring in. So let's check it out now. I'm going to select these two regions so we can hear both and put my playhead before and press A. Baby, you're cold as ice. Cold as ice. You're cold, but I... So she did have a little breath there. And I think breaths are important to keep uh, just for the humanness of everything. Uh, let's check out this one and see if there's a breath we need to keep in there. Okay, that was not as prominent, so I'm not going to worry about that one as much. Let's do this one here. Okay, and the last one. Let's pull this one out. Okay, let's collapse everything, and let's listen to what we have all the way through. And I will actually turn back on the stand to bus 10, which has my automated delay throws. And let's check out what we have. So with those basic tools and conventions, you can pretty much edit any track you want, but stay tuned for future videos where I go even deeper into other editing examples. So be sure to like and subscribe down below. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. I'll see you in the next video.